Hi there, this is Donnie from the CAD Geek, and if when plotting in AutoCAD, you've ever thought the list of available plotters here has become a bit unwieldy, well, this video is for you, because what I'm going to share with you is how we can hide all of these Windows system printers and display only these .pc3 files. But first, let's kind of talk about the differences here. So first things first, anything without a .pc3 extension at the end is just a printer that's installed on my Windows system. And while that's great for managing the way that we print from applications like Microsoft Word and just about any other Windows program, in AutoCAD, we have this sort of specialized way that we can sort of tweak these printers just for the purpose of AutoCAD. And they are stored in something known as a .pc3 file. PC3 is just plotter configuration version three, and it's been version three forever, so don't worry about that. Now, the basic idea here is that these PC3 files are stored in a path on either my local machine or on my network. And once again, through our options dialog that we'll take a look at here in a moment, we can configure AutoCAD to only look at these files and also choose where on my system it looks for those files. So let's get out of the plot dialog here. I'll just cancel out of things here. And I'm gonna go over to the options dialog. Now there's a number of ways that we can do that, but I'm just going to come up here to the application menu and then choose options right here. This will bring up my options dialog. So first things first, if I navigate over here to the plot and publish tab, I get a bunch of settings related to plotting and publishing as you might expect. And the system or the setting that I want to take a look at is this one right here, which is to hide system printers. If I enable that, I'll go ahead and choose okay real quick. And let's return to the plot dialog. You can see now that my list of available plotters has dramatically simplified here. So this has already helped me out quite a bit. Now, if I want to take this a step further, I can add another sort of path or control where on my computer it's looking for these paths. And the way I can do that is also from the options dialog. So we'll just return to that real quick. And instead of the plot and publish tab, we're going to come over here to the files tab. Now under the files tab, you're going to find an option here called printer support file path. And if we expand that out, we get all sorts of settings that we have related to printing. And the one I'm interested in is this one right here, the printer configuration search path. Now by default, I have one set right here, which is my local path. And what we can also do is add a second path. And I've already done that here. You can see I have one here, my P drive under my standards and plotters. Now, while this is great, one problem that I have with this is this is in theory, my company standard and a read only location. These are the plotters that I am providing to my company. I don't want anyone to modify them. Now, unfortunately right now, if a PC3 file exists in both this local path as well as this network path, well, the one on the local computer is going to win. And that's not the way I want things to be set up. So the secret here, and this applies to anything inside of the options dialog here, is to make the path that you want to be kind of the, the law of the land to be at the very top, because this files tab here, AutoCAD is going to read it like a book from top to bottom. So if I select my network path as P standards plotters, I can go ahead and move that up in the list. And now my network configurations or the configurations stored on the network are going to take precedence over the one stored on my local machine. And likewise, since I have two paths here, I can control a company specific set of plotter configurations and also give users, if I prefer, the flexibility of having local versions uh, for maybe desktop printers and that type of thing available to them as well. And so now if I click OK, AutoCAD is reading from both the network path as well as the local path. And when I go to the, my plot command here, it's only giving me the options for printers who have a PC3 file defined for them. So there you have it, just a quick tip on simplifying plotting inside of AutoCAD. Once again, my name is Donnie Gladfelter and for the CAD Geek, thanks so much for watching. Take care.